bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Our guest this hour is Susan Thomas, Communications Director for the American Red Cross. Welcome, Susan. Thank you for Thanks having me. Thanks for being me. here. Your organization has had a busy summer, is having a busy summer. Very busy summer between floods, tornadoes, wildfires, some of the worst flooding in the Midwest in 15 years. It has been a very busy summer. And people are afraid that uh, wildfires will uh, will continue throughout the summer. You. Uh, what, what does the Red Cross do? I mean, you, you provide what? Food, shelter, what? Exactly. We provide the essential needs when a disaster strikes. So people who need water, they need food, they need shelter, they need comfort. We also offer counseling. We offer comfort kits. When a family is standing on the curb and their house is completely ruined and they're standing there in their pajamas, they need a toothbrush, they need essential items and comfort kits and that's what we provide. What we like to do is we're always there within 72 hours and so that's why you hear about those 72 hour kits. We like people to be prepared, have a 72 hour kit, be able to take care of yourself and your family and have some water, have some food, have some first aid kits, and then we'll be there very soon. What do you do when you're not responding to uh, an emergency when you're not responding to a disaster. How do you occupy your time? Okay, well there's a lot to be done when you're not in the middle of a disaster to get ready for disasters, whether you're talking about earthquakes or floods or tornadoes or fires. What the Red Cross does is we train people, we teach people how to be prepared. You don't need to be as afraid of a disaster, but you need to know what you should be doing and how to react and what to do when there's a disaster. So we teach people preparedness, we teach people safety, we teach first aid, CPR, and we have a lot of health and safety classes. We teach water safety in the summer. Um, so we teach people to be safe, be prepared. We have a lot of classes that people can take at their local chapters all around the state. And then we are also always meeting and accepting and warmly inviting people to volunteer. volunteer yeah. And we do disaster training. We train people, there's no charge for the disaster training. And we train people what to do in a disaster and we have about 100, 200 volunteers. I think 100 are disaster trained, and we need, we'd like 70 more. What kind of 70? Mm -hmm. What kind of uh, what kind of people are you looking for? Are you looking for specific vocations or avocations, or you welcome everybody? Everyone, everyone from someone who can help with data entry, answering phones, doctors, nurses. Um, Anyone who has a golden heart and wants to help people who have just been affected by a disaster, um, mental health counselors, and um, worker bees, anyone. We just need people to help. And when you go through the disaster training, as a volunteer, you can say, you know, I, I'd like to help work with the media, or I'd like to help work with the food services. I'd like to help work with the shelters. I'd like to help shovel mud out of people's houses. So. As you go through the disaster training, you'll find out there's a wide variety of jobs. And I mean, if 500 people want to volunteer this summer, bring them on, we'll train them, we can use them. Is, is, there, is there a certain level of disaster that, that, uh, that the Red Cross responds to? If one, if one, person is, one person's home is hit by a mudslide, does that constitute a disaster yes. or do there have to be five homes? All of the above. If one family or one person needs help, if they're on the curb in their pajamas and they don't have anything to eat or anywhere to sleep or any clothes on their back, what happens is the local, the fire departments, the police departments, they call the Red Cross. When someone needs help with essential services, they call us, our pagers go off, three o'clock in the morning, our disaster trained experts are running to the scene wherever they are. We help them out, give them water, make sure they have food. We help them find an apartment um, so that we can get them going and get them on their feet. Well, Susan, you're obviously very enthusiastic about the Red Cross. We thank you very much for being here. Our guest has been Susan Thomas, Communications Director for the American Red Cross. And I'm your host, Don Olson, for Comcast Newsmakers.